Hey everyone, how's it going? So this is my first time going live on the Redesign with Prima page. My name's Chelsea Evans and my business is Apple Blossom Way. And I've done lots of lives on my own page, but I haven't joined you guys yet. So I thought tonight would be a fun time. A lot of you are home, just bumming. So here we go. Uh, I have this cool project. Um, how many of you guys have seen globes just from, like you find them at the thrift store, old vintage globes just hanging around? And uh, I thought you could do something really cool with this. So I kind of wanted to find a project that some of you might already have um, just sitting around that you could try out because a lot of the thrift shops aren't open right now. Um, so if you have a globe, this is a fun one to do. All right. And by the way, drop a note and tell me hello and where you're from. Uh, I'm from Utah, just about an hour south of Salt Lake. We had an earthquake yesterday. How crazy is that? Pretty crazy. Anyway, we are back to painting today. So what I've done is I've already painted this. Um, these are colors are Wise Owl Black and then Wise Owl Bone, which is a really beautiful, um, super pale gray, almost white color. And so I just blocked out the continents in bone and then I left all the ocean kind of in black. So it looks pretty cool um, to begin with. And then the plan is to take some of my extra transfer pieces and put them in the continents. So I think this is gonna be kind of a cool thing, kind of a cool um, kind of boho project. So the one that I'm using is called Tropical Paradise. That's the transfer I'm gonna to use today. Um, but I thought of a couple different combos that would be kind of fun for you guys. Hunkering down in Cincinnati. Ooh, tornado's coming. Goodness, be careful. Okay, so one of the ones I thought this would be super fun, especially uh, if you have a baby or someone is going to have a baby and you need a unique gift. I thought this would be cool. Instead of a mobile, uh, you could hang the globe so it spins above their crib and paint it in um, 1987, which is a nude pink color. You can see a little bit on the lip. This is Wiesel. And uh, maybe like a little bit of metallic copper would be pretty or the rose gold so they have their new metallics out which is really rad uh the rose gold is super pretty so you could do like 1987 and rose gold or um a white or bone would be really pretty and then you could add little bits of um the hello baby transfer into some of the continents wouldn't that be cool i think that would be kind of fun so that's an idea for you. Another one I thought would be really pretty is um, the peacock. Transfer the peacock dreams would be really beautiful. And then you could paint your globe like um, a turquoise or kind of a teal color. You could even pull in those, some of the transfers have like this orangey tone. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but they're really like a saffron color. And so you could even pull in like those orangey tones and maybe navy and, and then use the peacock transfer. And then the other one I think would be a really big hit is uh, this, the Lush Floral Transfer. And these, um, you probably have to cut most of these down, but you could layer them over top and you could cover the entire continent or just bits and pieces of it. Tonight I'm just gonna show you little pieces covered, uh, but you could layer these and do some really cool effects with the different transfers and, and cover the entire continent. So get creative with it and do something really rad. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it tonight and then I'm gonna challenge you that if you have one of these sitting around to take it, paint it, and do something rad with it and post a picture and share it with us in this page so that um, we can all be inspired and do something cool with it, all right? so. When, uh, and one last thing I'll show you, I don't know, some of you may have used these and a lot of you maybe haven't. These are the artist brushes from Redesign with Prima. And um, this is the texture, the texture brush is set one, so there's three brushes in it. And it has like the little rubber ends so you can do different textures with that. But the brushes are nice and thin and they have a nice point on the end. So it made it really easy to get around the edges of my continent and paint those um, with these texture brushes. So you can check those out if you haven't tried them out. All right, so these are just scraps that I have 
I'm gonna set this aside because I feel like I'm juggling one arm. <laughs> These are just scraps that I had from um, the Tropical Paradise transfer. So I'm just gonna cut out some little pieces of it and we'll put it on our continent. Now I've painted around it and I'll just cut off that little extra. I've painted around my continent, my whole globe, as you can see, uh, but I'm not too worried about going over the edges. So if some of my leaves go over the edges into the black parts, um, I can just go over that with black paint after I've uh, applied the transfer and cover that up. So my edges will still look nice and sharp. So I thought about not even painting the black first, um, just applying the transfers and then go ahead and adding the black after. But I kind of wanted you guys to see the look of the um, stark black against the white. So you can kind of see. I know it's kind of fun, huh? And maybe I'm gonna back you guys up just a little bit. I feel like they're a little close. <laughs> All right, so let's do, Let's do a heavier one on bottom. Let's see how this is gonna fit. And my glove's even like a little bit broken, you guys. So what I'll do, and I should have grabbed this out. Let me grab a little pen. Uh, maybe grab a little marker or something. I usually have a little marker on hand, and that way if um, you wanna mark where to cut your excess, you can, it, the marker is going to show up on that shiny surface all right so we'll say about right there and then i'm just gonna roughly like i said i'm not too worried about going over the edges but now i have kind of an idea of where i want to cut that and then that will fit pretty close to where I want it. I'll even cut it a little less than that. So if I overshot, we'll have it covered. All right. Make sure. Yeah. And then we'll just overlap a little bit. That's going to be cool. Okay. So now I'll just take it. I have my, um, I might've buried it under this. This is when you need someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> to hand you the stuff that you lost. I think I have one in here. How am I gonna apply it if I don't have it, you guys? Oh, it's way over there. <laughs> this is real life, right? This is why we watch lives. So we can just sit and laugh at the person that's trying to teach and do something. <laughs> uh, okay, make sure, yeah, right there. And can you guys see that okay? Let me move my chair to the side. Hey Jane, how are you? Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, so I'll go ahead and peel off my backing. And then another cool thing, when this is all done, I'll take another color and I'll glaze the edges with kind of a brownish tone around my continents and it will give them a 3D effect and it will kind of make them pop. I think it's gonna be really rad. Let's go from, and it might not be perfect, and I'm okay with that. Especially if I glaze it, I think that's kind of cool when it's not perfect. Ooh. Uh, this is the first transfer I've ever applied to the world before, so this we're all gonna experience this together. <laughs> And hopefully it works. That would be super embarrassing if it didn't. Thanks, I think it's gonna be cool. Um, I wanted something I could show you guys, like I said, that maybe you might have around, laying around, or maybe um, grandma or grandpa, mom and dad have one that's just been sitting around for a long time, maybe up in their attic or something. And, uh, they don't use it anymore. So it might be fun to go and do. And I've seen uh, where they do these and they put like wedding dates. Um, if you did the baby transfer like I showed you, 
you could do a like the day the baby's birth date or something that would be kind of cool so what are you guys all up to tonight anything fun or have you had any creative ideas while you've been stuck home some of us have been stuck home I've been uh, a working mom with, I have three little boys and they are all home, their school uh, sent them home. So I have suddenly become a teacher as well. And we're doing the best we can. <laughs> We've had um, excessive recess time. I think that's the only way to get through it. <laughs> okay, but I have gained a really um, great appreciation for their teachers. They are amazing. So, okay. We're almost there. Let's see how that's... on there. Isn't that cool looking? Oh my gosh, look how cool, guys. That's awesome. I love it. That's going to be rad. So you can see how beautiful that would be, like with the light pink colors and um, some metallics going on. Uh, so I always apply my transfer and then I burnish it again after I've applied it. And to make sure that it adheres really well, and I also, I will distress it. So I distress it so the adhesion is like super tight. And then uh, I like some of my texture underneath to show through. And so if you distress it, some of that color from underneath is gonna come through and it will look really, really cool. So I don't think I have any sandpaper in here or I would show you that. You can use sandpaper, uh, you can use steel wool. Typically when I distress over a transfer, I'll use 220 fine grit sandpaper. This is just gonna make sure that it adheres really well. You don't have any problems with it coming off later on. So for the most part, it's right on my continent. There's a tiny bit that went over. So you can decide how picky you are. Uh, if that's something that bothers you, then I'm just gonna take my black paint and my uh, artist brush and just hit that edge, cover it up, and no sweat. Cool, let's do another one, let's do one more. Uh, I really like, I am digging, where is it? I guess it's this one. That is such, okay, what kind of leaf is that? I have some extra transfers over here. If someone can tell me what kind of leaf that is, and you gotta be in the US, I'll ship it. I'll ship you out a transfer. What kind of leaf is that? Hey Leah, how are you? Fern? All right. Okay, Jennifer, it looks like you are our first guesser. So my name is tagged up here in the video, along with my business page, Apple Blossom Waste. If you wanna shoot me, a message. Is it a fern or a palm? Is it a palm leaf? Uh-oh. Which one is it? If it's a palm leaf, then we have a different winner. Let's see if it says. I don't know. You guys battle it out. And at the end, <laughs> at the end, I'll tell you who's right. <laughs> okay. So let's add this one. So we've got this one kind of going this direction. I kind of think let's pull this one going down in this direction. And that will kind of give it some flow um, the way it's coming around. You guys all double check. <laughs> I know, right? 
You, if I ask a quiz, I should know the answer. Um, I'll double check as to exactly what type it is. And then whoever guessed that one first, uh, I will make sure I get you a transfer sent out, okay? Okay. I want to say it's a palm, but it's pretty thin. So, and I think ferns have like little, uh, they're like almost little bumps, like, and they have a little bit different pattern. I'll double check though. Okay, so to keep us flowing, I think this is perfect. We can come right up here, our leaves are going to kind of flow down into this other direction and then pull out so keep your eye kind of going both ways. This one's gonna be super pretty. I mean, they both are, but. So we'll start at the top and then we'll work our way to push down those edges. But um, this one didn't have a stand. It actually did have a stand, but I hated the stand, it was ugly. So I took it off of the stand and I don't have a way to get it to stand up straight. So I was thinking maybe I would tie uh, like some jute string or um, something and then hang it. So it could kind of be hanging in my office. I thought that would be kind of cool. Or how else could I, how else could I display it? If you guys have a better idea, it would be nice on a shelf. You could definitely put it on a shelf. Yeah, the green looks nice on the black too. So there's so many different color combos that you could do. Um, that's kind of why I like throwing an idea out there and then I really love it when you guys take um, some inspiration from what you've seen and just go with it and do your own thing. That is, that's the best form of learning and teaching is um, when you can ignite someone's creativity and then watch them flourish in their own way that's unique to them. That's super cool to see. Hey Amy, how are you? A palm, a fern would have shorter fronds. I think it is a palm. I think, I think you guys are right. I'm pretty sure they're palm leaves. So that would take us to, I'm like 99% sure it's palm. So uh, Mary Ann Pryor, you were our first palm guesser. But Jennifer, shoot me a message anyways, just through my business page. The other great thing about glazing uh, with a, like a brownish tone like I'm going to at the very end is that this texture, like globes are not perfectly um, smooth. They actually have some texture to them. And so I just use my paint to accentuate that texture. And so um, when I glaze that, it's gonna make that texture pop even more, which would be like eye candy, super cool. Yep, and see this one leaf, it just crackled a little bit. I'm okay with that. I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I'm gonna distress it. When you distress your transfer as well, it kind of makes it feel more um, natural and uh, more genuine to the piece and not so like stickered on there. It kind of melts it into the paint. So if you, if I, I don't like, things absolutely perfect. Um, it almost gives me anxiety. <laughs> and so it's a good way to um, not worry about that. But some people do, and that's totally cool. Everyone's different. That's why art is so great. I can appreciate the perfect. I'm just not it. All right. Now we just press that off. And when you burnish as well, let's see, can you faintly see the halo right there? So when you burnish that, you can get rid of those halo lines. Okay. And uh, if they really bother you, you can glaze around them. I've glazed many transfers. Uh, you can drip your glaze and spray it with water, or you can use a brush and glaze it that way. Whatever suits your fancy.
Oh, that is so cool. Isn't it cool when an idea works? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of risky jumping on a live in front of a large audience and not knowing, but I figured it would. So I kind of burnish the snot out of my transfers. That way I don't have any cracking or peeling. I've never had that issue. Oh, isn't that cool? Look at that, look how cool. Oh, heck yeah, that's awesome. I love it. See, so you can see how it's really nice just to put a, a small part of a design and let that really pop and shine or to uh, layer and add some more flowers in here, add some color and really cover up your continent. And um, you can do totally different designs. You could do designs that kind of represent uh, the continent or the culture there. That would be kind of cool. So think about that as you work on your globes. Do something really awesome. And if you guys like what you saw here, if you have any other questions, you can find me on my page, appleblossomway.com. Uh, online or on Facebook, Apple Blossom Way. And I teach lots of classes. I teach classes back to basics, everything you need to know from start to finish. Uh, I teach the stone finish. So I developed the Apple Blossom stone finish. And just like you see here on my buffet. So I teach classes on that. It's a really great group of people and you can learn how to do that. And cabinet classes and flash classes where you can learn like a specific focused thing. So. Anyways, thank you guys for having me on here and uh, sharing this kind of fun project with you. I hope you guys do something cool and please share it on this page when you do and tag me so I can see it. And uh, don't forget to message me, you guys, so I can shoot you out a transfer. Have a good night. Be safe. Bye, guys.